Welcome to another Facebook Live. Can't keep this inside today. Well, first of all, I did mention previously, this is jumping on to the next phase, how to exercise God care. Get away. How to exercise God care. I don't know why this is jumping around, but it is. So I have to keep going. First of all, knowing when it's needed. In my earlier live, I talked about when we feel all jumbled up inside and we start pointing fingers in other directions, that that is a signal that there's something inside of us that we need to give attention to. Now, I want to be really careful. This is my response to that, or my addition to that. How do we give attention? Attention to ourselves when we're all jumbled up on the inside. And even when we may be having thoughts and saying or doing things that are really uh, kind of questionable to us, even to us, but certainly to other people. <laughs> like crying at the drop of a hat or turning around and walking away when we can't cope, that, those kinds of things. Well, first of all, when we need attention on the inside, it is our responsibility. There's nobody else who can tend it the way we can because it's my insights. And it's my responsibility because for those of us that are alive in Christ, we have Holy Spirit living in there. Our body is a sanctuary. It's meant to be a sanctuary for Holy Spirit. And I just realized this morning that my sanctuary has been pretty jumbled up lately, not peaceful. I know it because of what's been going on. I've been living in my head and disconnected from other things. So how, let's get to the point today. How do we exercise God care? What do I mean by that? Well, I'm not talking about self-care, how I decide. I'm talking about God care. How does God care for us? How does he want us to be caring for us inside? Well, first of all, with truth. <laughs> not in an order of priority, by the way. <laughs> but truth with love, with compassion. <laughs> in holiness. So, it's not to say, you know, Sandra, you haven't been paying enough attention over here, and you better get down and grovel because you're in sin. No, that's not what God says. He says, you know, you've been overloaded lately with a lot of things demanding emotional and mental and all kinds of attention, spiritual attention, Sandra, it has been overwhelming. We get it. God the Father, God the Son, God the Spirit. They understand Jesus especially. He lived in this stuff when he was here in a human body, same as yours, same as mine, with the same kind of mechanism for survival. Trauma, people, trauma. So he understands. So as he was speaking to me, not in these kinds of words, but in my workout, it's very understandable that everything is all jumbled up because of what I've been going through recently and hits that I've been taking from places where I don't need those kind of hits and that it requires me to be there and, and the pain that they cause call out to tend the same as if I had a gash in my arm. I need attention. And so it's not judgment. It's not a demand to grovel. It's, it's none of those things. It's Jesus calling, <laughs> to borrow Sarah Young's book title, come to me. All you who are weary and labored, burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart. 
and my yoke is easy, and my burden is light, and you will find rest for your soul. I can't remember the reference right now, but there you have it. Or try Psalm 46, verses 10 and 11. Be still and know. Know with your mind. Know with your body. In that nervous system place. Know in your spirit. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations, all the cultures, all the countries, all the institutions, all the everything. I will be exalted in the earth, the entire creation. He will be exalted. It's coming. I hope you hear that I'm intermixing my, my sense along with scripture. The Lord, this is back to the scripture, the Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress, our refuge. Yeah. Look, this kind of truth infuses itself into me. These are no longer just words that I know. I walked that way with God for decades. This is truth that infuses itself into my being, into my body. And I am calmer already. And so this morning, what I recognized was this last little while, I have been focusing on all these things in front of me to do and to be, <laughs> places I need to go now, et cetera, et cetera. And I want to return to where I was before. I do need to be on tap a lot of times. <laughs> and yet, there's still the need, the call, God's I, wooing. That's the best word. God's wooing to come into his presence and remember who he is. And start my day. Thank you, Lord, for the sleep you gave me last night. Thank you, Lord, for the things for this day. Thank you for, <laughs> and let that be empowering, guiding me as I head into my day. Not waking up, I have to do this, I have to do that, I have to do the other thing. So, this is longer than I expected, but there you have it. Tell it like it is, this is how it is. God care includes all of those things. Not merely a sledgehammer. You're off track. Get on track. Throw yourself down. Beat yourself up. Drag yourself back over here because this is where you belong. It's a loving wooing. Come, let me embrace you right here. There you go. He's going to take me where I need to go. Because if he doesn't, I ain't going to get there. I pray that you have a blessed day. Bye-bye.